Alrighty, it's your human, as far as you know, Juggalo Razzie, part one of the Outcast Second Contact playthrough. Cut a human a break, follow, like, subscribe, share. I'm 53 years old. I work since 16 years old. I'd like to make just enough money on streaming, barely get by. So please spread the word so I can retire. All right, and here we go. It came the discovery of the superstrings theory, which stated that an elementary particle that is 10 to the negative 35 meters in diameter was the basic element of all matter. This prompted the idea that an infinite number of worlds exist parallel to our own, all separated by extra dimensions at the subatomic scale. will be a year long remembered in the scientific world as Professor William Kaufman's published work on ubiquitous strings is released. Simply put, Kaufman predicts that travel to a parallel world may be possible using a method he's called string tunneling. But many in the scientific field, while agreeing with his findings, say that the power output that is needed is far beyond the capabilities of science. Anthony Zoo's trial ended today with a narrow, not guilty verdict. The families of the 11 MIT lab workers who were killed in the July 1999 explosion contend that Zoo was at fault and that his attempt to create the first matter-antimatter reaction was the cause. Commander Slade? Not bad. I guess my weight, too. I'm Major Vernon, sir. We've got a diamond priority situation at one of our outposts, and I'm to bring you to the site. I got time to finish my drink? Guess not. Almost to the site, and I'm supposed to debrief you before we land. Get on with it, then. In your mission briefing, you'll see that yesterday at 1630 GST, a top secret military experiment was launched. You got any coffee? No, sir. Now, if you'll just follow along. Damn. Okay, I'm all ears, Major. Go on. Well, as you may know, scientists have talked about traveling to parallel worlds for the last couple of years, and yesterday, we did it. Did what? We sent a probe through the boundary separating us from the other dimensions. Really? Where'd you wind up, Belgium? For 71 minutes, we were receiving data back from the probe before an entity from that world damaged it, sending an energy backlash through to our world that's caused an atomic chain reaction we were unable to contain. Looks like your precious lab blew up. Not exactly. Pilot, uh, give me a 30-degree roll to port. It caved in. Let me get this straight. The probe you shot in the Twilight Zone screwed up and is sucking us in? Yes. And the vortex is growing exponentially, Commander. We estimate 25 days before the Earth is no more than a cosmic memory. So why am I here? You're here to escort a group of three scientists into the same parallel world to repair and retrieve that probe. I'm trained in combat and survival. I don't run an escort service. Urgent. Soft here making its off needed at Hall G13. Red Sector Com briefing is a go at 1300 hours. 
Look, all I'm saying, Anthony, is we weren't ready. I was as eager as you to test our theories, but that didn't give us license to- Us? I'm not taking the fall for your flawed theories, Kaufman. My energy source didn't lose that probe, and when we find it, I'll- Attention. Report all Gentlemen, this is Commander Cutter Slade. He's here to make sure you have no problems on your little trip. No more than you've got, anyway. This is Professor William Kaufman, head of the Cristobal Project. Lab techs, uh, it's a pleasure, Lab Commander. I'm sorry you and me both, Professor. Uh, and Professor Anthony Xu, Professor Kaufman's... Guiding light. Without me, he'd still be at the blueprint stage. Where I fear we should have stayed. We can save the speculation until after we've plugged that hole, gentlemen. Professor Kaufman, you're due at the pad first. Oh, I'll be along momentarily, Major. Urgent. Task five commanders. P1 so, what's the plan, Professor? Quite simple, really. When we get to the other world, we locate the damage probe and repair the systems using these backup cards. Of course, the damage could be anything from the power output to the... It's not the power output. It's the string tunneling device. We'll find that out soon enough, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the pad. Why did they choose you, Commander? Guess I drew the short straw. Nice to know we have something in common. See you on the other side, gentlemen. One step away from proving my energy source can work, and now this. I can't believe my luck. Don't worry, Professor. Stick close to me, and we'll get through this. Listen, G.I. Joe. I'm only gonna tell you this once. I don't take orders from anyone. Is that so? I have a strong feeling you're going to be trouble. Mm-hmm. The feeling's mutual, Professor. Suit's a bit on the tight side. Sorry. We've already sent a shipment of new technology weaponry to the other world. The instructions were in your brief. Thanks. By the way, you said three scientists. So far, I've only seen double. Wolf? Oh, God. What's she doing here? Uh, you two know each other? Not really. I know her lawyers pretty well, though. Look, about that, I'm... Is there a problem? I don't really know. Is there a wolf? I wouldn't want the senator upset again. My mother has nothing to do with this. I'm here on my own credentials. Ms. Wolf is our exobiologist, Commander. If your mission runs longer than expected, She'll be helping you figure out which bugs to eat and what plants to Commander avoid. Slade, T -minus 10 minutes to launch. She'll also be attempting Please communication with the sentient beings we saw in the probe. Communication? Feed. Her? How ironic. You don't understand, Commander. What happened wasn't... Uh, this uh, happy reunion will have to wait, you two. Commander, we need you on the pad now. Ms. Wolf? What was all that about? Guess you guys didn't have time for background checks. Level with me, Vernon. Is this thing really gonna get us there alive? Would you rather stay here? You've got a point there. Just try not to break anything else before I get back, will you? We'll try, Commander. Good luck. Uh, you guys want to keep it down? <clears throat> My head is splitting. Urakai, are you unhurt? I think so, Doc, except my hearing's a bit out of whack. 
I do not understand, Ulukai. Ulukai? What's that? Some egghead word for... Holy shit! What is egghead? Who are you? Where are the others? I am Zokrim, leader of the Dolotai Guardians. What others do you talk of? Others... Um, like me. We found you alone, Ulukai. No others were there. Brilliant. Now what? Now? Now we will help you retrieve your five mons and defeat Feyran and his soldier leader, Kloax. Then all of Adelpha will be free. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, Chief. I hate to burst your bubble, but I've already got a world to save. <laughs> yes, Ulukai, and that is Adelpha. Why do you keep calling me Ulukai? The name is Cutter Slade. Hundreds of moons ago, the Prophet Kazar spoke of a higher being, the Ulukai, who would arrive at this time to save Adelpha from destruction at the hands of Feyran. To do this, you will need the five Mons, sacred objects that have been hidden around the regions of Adelpha, awaiting your arrival. Sounds like you have some real problems. Zogrim, was it? But right now, I gotta find the three other people on my team and a busted probe. That's my first priority. If I have time afterwards, I'll see what I can do about helping you, okay? If you search for friends and busted probe, have you a way of finding them? Now that you mention it, no, I don't. Then I propose a deal with you, Ulokai. I will tell the other Dolotai guardians to go out into their regions and search for what you seek. When they discover anything, they will get word to me, then I to you. How many men do you have? Once, we numbered in the thousands. Now we are but a hundred, and getting smaller with each moon. So if I help you get these mons, you'll use your hundred eyes and ears to look around this world for me? Yes. Doesn't sound like I have much of a choice here. How will you know where I am? We will know, Ulukai. Many Talon will not believe in you until they hear stories of your good deeds. All will watch your every move. Fair enough. Now the probe is a big shiny metal object, and I need to find it first. Is this what you seek? A backpack? Where'd you get that? It was found where you arrived, Ulukai, as were many sacred objects of the Yods. No, the probe is much bigger than that. You said the rest of the equipment is there? No, Ulukai. When sacred objects were discovered, Many Talon take them for themselves, to have a little part of the Yods, and to feel hope that some moon they would help. Most Talon will not want to give up their sacred objects. This mission will be a snap, Commander. It's just a simple repair operation. What could go wrong? Well, let's count. I lost my crew, can't find the probe. My equipment is being used by the natives as rosary beads. And I have one backpack with my HK P-12 and 30 rounds of ammo. I believe that places this mission somewhere just south of Fubar. I did not understand all what you said, Ulokai. But if you are looking for more items, I would like to give you this. What is it? This Gamsav is believed to save at Helen's essence when it is held and squeezed in one's hand. When you do this, a strange glow builds inside the Gamsav, and after a few moments, it lets out a bright light. This is believed to imprint your essence on the Gamsav, but you cannot move while the light is growing. Ah, skip it, Chief. This is too much. Look, I think I need to clear my head. Got a place I can stretch my legs a bit? Of course, Ulukai. Our camp is open to you. You should find my son, Yan. He can help you. Once he has done so, return to me, and I will open the Dalka, so you may leave. Lexicon accessed. HKP-12 ammo located.
Come here a second, would you? So how can I get out of this joint? Have you finished Yang's tests, Urukai? No, not yet. I believe you will find yourself most rewarding, Urukai. Return to me once you have completed them, please. Say, Zokrum. What's with that Gamsav you gave me? That is your Gamsav. It is a very special piece of Aderfa, and only a few are ever found. Great. What's it good for? If you take it in your hand and squeeze it, light and sound from inside the Gamsav grows. When it reaches full power, it will cause a bright flash. That flash is thought to save your essence, in case you are reverted. Oh, that's different. Be warned that if you use this near soldiers, that they will hear it and come running. Also, any energy that comes near your Gamsav will disrupt it, and you will have to begin again trying to use it. How many times can I use it? I do not think it has a limit, Ulokai. So how can I get out of this joint? Can I see you for a second? Hi there. Ah, you walk among us at last. The yachts be praised. Thanks. Would you like to know about the regions of Talanzar or Motazar? What can you tell me of Motazar? This region is one of wasted land, as well as Talanzar. Only a few thousand moons ago, Large trees and many animals made Motazar a wonderful place. Now, the land dies more every moon. Only the most vicious plants and animals live there now. What happened to it? Feyron mines a mineral there, which he uses to make the soldiers' weapons. As more of this mineral is taken from the ground, the region dies. The Shamas believe that the mineral it's the link between the Yards and the Delpha itself. But I have no feelings about this. What is this mineral? You will need to ask another Talon this, Ulokai. I have just become a guardian and am only beginning my studies. I am only now being taught about Motazar. What else have you been taught? Motazar supplies all of this mineral for Feyran. I remember something about a large tear in the ground that separates two parts of the region, and large holes left from old mines. I do not remember much else. Lexicon accessed. Stable organic energy detected. That dude's name's Raz. My name's Juggalo Razzy. So, yo, man. Good name. Yo, Shorty. Hey there, how's it going? Great, Urukai. You are better, I see. I could be worse. Although, I don't really see how. I can try and give you some info about the Shamaz or the region of Shamazar if you would like. 
What can you tell me of Shamazar? Large temples are placed all around that region. They are all used to go to pay tribute to the Yods of the Essences. These moons, very few are allowed to travel to them, and the offering plates beneath the idols atop the temple stand bare. Why can't you travel to them? Feyran has all but destroyed all forms of worship to the other Yods. Now his Yod, the Yod Fey, is the only Yod all can worship frequently. For the other three, all must do it in secret. Only the Shamas are allowed to travel much to these other temples, but even their time there is limited. What else can you tell me of Shamazar? Recent rains there have made the ground very dangerous in some parts. Be careful around the dark land areas. Also, the waters of Shamazar hold danger. I even hear stories of a large, dangerous beast in the waters behind a temple, but I do not know which one. Lexicon accessed. What can you tell me about the Shamars? They used to have greater numbers of their kind, like us guardians. But since Feyran and Croax began to rule Adelpha, they have disappeared in great numbers. Feyran's been killing them? That is what most fear, Ulukai. Feyran has made it illegal for any Shamas to teach about the other Yods or of the Prophet Khazar. Those that do, disappear. We have made efforts as well to keep alive the teachings of Khazar and the Yods, but we too lose more guardians every moon. I fear that one moon soon there will be no more of us left. So why does Feyran allow some of the Shamas to live? He will always need Shamas. They can use their essence to heal. Croax forces them to heal his soldiers, and Feyran makes them heal the workers, so they can work harder for him. There was a time that none of the Shamas would help Feyran. But when he continued to revert them until there were only a few left, they decided that they needed to stay alive to attempt to continue their teachings and agreed to Feyran's terms. They're on his side now? No, Ulukai. Never question the loyalty of a Shamas. They will all be delighted to see you, and will help you the best they can. Kazar suggested this, and the Shamas have listened. The only reason you should ever fear a Shamas is... Is when? Forgive me, Ulukai, but they were told by Kazar that if your essence was discovered to be evil, they were not to help you. But I am certain that will not be the case. Lexicon accessed. HKP-12 ammo located. Unstable organic energy detected. Detected.
Organic energy detected. Can I see you for a second? Are you Jan? Yes, Ulukai. I am glad that you are feeling better. Thanks. Your father said you could help me get the kinks out. The what? Uh, forget it. I need to get some exercise. Can you help me out? I can do that, Ulukai. There are four tests we do here to train other guardians. I can guide you through them if you would like. I would. Then you can choose from our tests of jumping, swimming, targeting, or sneaking. Notepad accessed. What is this sneaking test? This is our most difficult test. Since my father orders that we follow the no-violence teachings of Khazar, we find that we are forced to try and sneak into places without the soldiers seeing us. Nothing wrong with a little sneak and peek. Saves on ammo. If you say, Ulukai, me, I want to fight. But my father forbids it. And so now we train how to retrieve objects without being spotted. Follow me and I will tell you the rules. Unstable organic energy detected. Yo, Shorty. 
And how does this work? Ulukai, you will now begin the most difficult of our tests. What we will do is have you stand in the area of the square. Once I say one, two, three, you must begin to try and get the fruit I lay on the ground. Sounds easy enough. It will not be, Urukai. If you leave the square before I count three, I will start over. If I see you, I will tell you, and you will have to come to me to restart the test. Let's go, then. Enter your square, and we will begin. Wait for my count, please. Notepad. Accessed. One, two, three! I have seen you! Want to try that again? I guess you are still weak from your travels. Let us try it again. As soon as I say three, you will need to get the fruit. One, two, three! I could not see you! Let's try this jumping test. Follow me, Ulukai. I will take you to the place where we test the skills of jumping. What now? Across the water, you can see the steps that lead to the top of the rocks. Jump across there and claim your reward. Only those of strong essence can make this jump. Notepad accessed. Let's see if this headset transmitter works. 
Slade to group. Slade to group. Is anyone reading me? Damn it, people! Turn on your receivers! Be careful coming down, Urukai! Oh. So, did I pass? Yes, Sulukai. I have no doubts that you could pass our tests. It was my honor to help you get out of your kink. I hope now that we will be able to learn more useful battle strategies from you. Your father wouldn't be too happy about that. My father does not want to see what is happening around him. He talks of the old moons of the Guardians and the honor their name once held. Never does he see that few are being left alive which believe the way he does. Don't worry, Jan. I've never failed in a mission yet. May the odds be silent during your travels, Ulukai. My father will be glad to hear that you are ready to begin. Thanks. Oh yes, I almost forgot. You will need this. Hey, that's an EVD. Where did you find this? This and many sacred objects are all around Adelpha now, Ulukai. When they were found, many believe them objects of the Yards. Say, can you tell me a bit more about your father? He is a great leader, and if things were different in Adelpha, he would be the leader of all the Dolatai Guardians. As it is this moon, we must hide or face the reverting flames of Feyron. He gets people to join him by burning them? Yes, Ulukai. Strange recruitment plan. How's your father fighting back? We never fight, although most of us would like to. I am beginning to think that my father's essence is going weak. I want to no longer listen to his teachings of Khazar and of peace. I want more than anything to revert Feyron myself for what he has done. Whoa, simmer down there, Jan. I'm sure your father knows what he's doing. We shall see soon enough. Medical supplies located. Excuse me, pal. What are these Mon you told me about again? It is said that you will come to Adelpha and reunite the five Mons. Then the season of Feyran will come to an end, and all of Adelpha will be at peace once again. And what are they? No Talon knows. They were found by Kesar, and then hidden from the soldiers of Feyran by all the Shamas after Kesar was reverted. Find the Shamas in any region you enter to begin finding them on, Urukai. So how can I get out of this joint? Have you finished Yang's tests, Urukai? Sure did. He says I passed with flying colors. Now I should get going. As you wish, Urukai. But before you leave, I will remind you of our deal. You find the five Mons, and we will attempt to find that what you seek. That'll have to do for now. But just know, the second I find that probe, I'm completing the mission first. Understood? It shall be as you say, Ulokai. Now the path to your first mon lies in Shamazar, the region beyond the Daoka in our camp. Once you arrive there, you will need to find Shamaz Zeb. He may be in the village to the far west of the Daoka where you appear. Sounds like a plan. In other regions as well, you will need to find a Shamaz. They are the only ones who can help you find the mons. So, the only people I should find are them? Others will try to help, Ulukai. A good talent to find 
is also a recreator. I think they have discovered secrets about your sacred objects. The recreators? Yes. They and all others will help you. I only hope you will find the help of the leaders as well. The leaders of what? Many of the regions produce resources for the soldiers of Feyran and Croax. I have been in contact with many of them, but all are unwilling to stop their work for Feyran. They like working for him? No, Ulakai. They simply fear his anger, or they are too dumb to understand why we want to do this. Well, I'll see what I can do about that if I have the time. I know you can win them over. You have the mark of the Ulakai on you, and all will know your words carry great weight. So that's what it is. I thought maybe one of your guys mistook me for a New York subway car. Be warned, Ulakai. Many soldiers have been seen now that you are known to be alive. You will want to stay away from the Temple Fey in the center of Shamazar. There are many soldiers there. Stay to the south end of Shamazar. Thanks for the advice. Know this. All Guardians will be watching you. You will find our help when you are fulfilling the prophecy of the Urukai, and you will know our anger if you do not. All Talon will know your actions and treat you in the manner you treat them. You just remember that I need to find the others and that probe, and we'll get along famously. Then I will activate the Daoka for you. May the Yods be silent, Ulokai. Notepad. Organic energy detected.
Unstable organic energy detected. Do you know anything about Kazar? He was a great being. His knowledge and kindness brought thousands of happy moons to all Talan. Tell me about Feyran. His name brings only suffering. He seems to like the pain of others. I hope you can defeat him. Is there anything you can tell me about Croax? His time here on Adelpha has made us all suffer. Sometimes he is seen in the Temple Fey leading his men. But I have not seen him since you arrived, Ulukai. Can you give me any info on the soldiers here? They patrol the fields regularly. And there are many of them around the Rist storehouses, located all over Shamazar. But the most are sure to be found inside the Temple Fey. What do you know about the Temple Fey? It is a very large temple that is completely surrounded by water. Feyran had it built, so it was the center of Shamazar. Many soldiers are inside. Where can I find the leader of this region? Saw him moments ago to the west of here, Ulukai, but he was moving. He may be far to the west by now. Do you know where I can find Shamaz Zeb? Has Ulukai looked west of here yet? Go many steps in that direction.
Pardon me, buddy. How's it going? At long last, the Ulakai has arrived. My father would be proud to know that I am meeting you. He would? Yes, little guy. He was a recreator like I am. My name is Clath. I am eager to be helping you. Can you explain what a recreator is exactly? We are but a few Eloi Talan who can recreate simple objects after we have examined them with our essence. We have been working for Feyran for thousands of moons, though, creating weapons for his soldiers. Against your wishes, I hope. That is true, Ulukai. And to show this, I would like to offer to help you on behalf of all recreators. You need only show us any of your sacred objects which fuel your weapons, and we will attempt to make them for you. How do you know about those? All Talan have them, Ulukai. We have studied them and found that we would be able to recreate some of these objects with material from Adelpha. If you want any more history about us recreators, see Hoon in Okriana. Can you make me any weapons? Sorry, Ulukai. The weapons we know how to make are made to be fueled by a Fey Talon's essence, like the soldiers. From what I hear, you do not have this essence, and these weapons cannot be used by you. I wish I could do this for you. You must know. Lexicon accessed. What other help can you give me? You know that many regions here supply different items for Feron. I'm finding that out, yes. Well, besides helping you with making weapon fuel, we recreators have an idea. What's that? You can affect... Yeah? Thanks. Mar in the village here, for example. All Talan are afraid of him, because one bad word from him, and any Talan will disappear forever. But Mar is stupid, and does not understand the harm he causes. What can I do? If he were to agree with stopping wrist production, all Talan would do so gladly. But you will have to convince all here, and Mar, that you are indeed the Ulukai that we all hoped would come. What do you need to make weapon fuel for me? You need only bring a sample of the weapon fuel you need made, and I and the other recreators will know what you need made. At that time, we can tell you what material from Adelpha we will need to create your fuel. Can you make these? Yes, Urukai. You will need to bring me these objects. So, where can I find some green halidium? All around the regions of Adelpha, Urukai, these crystals grow up from the ground like plants. Lexicon accessed. Pardon me, buddy. Will this be enough? I can make what you ask with these, yes. Please give me some time. Alrighty, and speaking of time, this is the end of episode one, part one of the playthrough. See you in episode two. Peace.